The second in command of the Congregation for Institutes of Consecrated Life repeats that intervening in the heralds of the gospel is neither a punishment nor a sanction. Yo creo que de esta... I think the heralds will come out of this situation strengthened. It's happened in other times in the church, and recently also with other institutions. It's not a punishment, it's not a sentence. It's simply a concrete aid the church, our mother, offers them. In September, the Vatican announced its intervention in the heralds of the gospel and the two societies that emerged around it. These are the Virgo Flos Carmeli for priests and the Regina Virginum for women. The Holy See noted a lack in areas like style of government and pastoral care of vocations. The heralds have expressed disagreement with the decision. They say their institution is private, for lay people, meaning it does not depend on the congregation of religious. Thus, they say, it has no right to act. Monsignor Rodriguez Carballo clarified this point. He explained why his congregation, dedicated to religious men and women, is keeping tabs on the heralds, who depend upon the dicastery for the laity. In reality, it's an association. In reality, it's a private association of the faithful. The decree was corrected, and we accept the correction. It's necessary to say we don't have the competent authority, but it's been granted to us by the congregation who has it, the congregation of the laity. That's what happened when we made our apostolic visit, and that's what's happening now. The heralds say the Vatican acted arbitrarily. They say they were not given the reasons for the decision and designation of a commissioner. From Rome, Rodriguez Carballo assures the decisions taken were very well thought out. Some time ago, we had a joint reunion, Doctrine of the Faith, Congregation for the Laity and Family, and us. And the three congregations unanimously decided to continue with the agreed-upon program. It's important to remember the Holy Father approved the apostolic visit. Thus, there's no going back here, and we are convinced we have to move forward. The Heralds of the Gospel were founded in Brazil by João Sconhamilho Clad Dias. They received pontifical approval in 2001. Currently, they hold a presence in about 70 countries. The two societies that emerged from the charism, one for priests and one for women, were approved in 2009.